Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, and this is episode four of my Sims Legacy Free Play Sims series. How am I even gonna say this? <laughs> but we're back here again with another episode. We're gonna get started with the wedding process. Um, so definitely stay tuned for the episode and also make sure to subscribe down below for more episodes in this series, as well as like and comment your favorite part of this episode down below as well. So without further ado, let's just get right into it because I have missed my baby Naomi. I haven't played in a minute, so um, I just want to get back to Naomi and get started with the wedding. So we about to put on these headphones and we gonna get right into it. So right now we are with Naomi and she is back home. <laughs> We have one of the hopscotch that one of the little girls in the apartment complex drew. So Naomi's actually practicing right now because uh, she really wants to play. <laughs> so She's just practicing here. And David is actually about to go home. They kind of spent the morning together <laughs> just hanging out and having breakfast. But he's actually going to get his workout in. Looks like, uh, looks like he might need it. <laughs> Yikes. Naomi's place. We still have some other stuff to um, unpack. There is a table that I found that I'm like, man, I really want it. <laughs> We're actually going to delete that and I'm going to find where this table is because I really want it like so bad. See, this is why I need to not go CC shopping like right in the middle of a series because especially after I just like built her home like I need to not like look at this chair oh my gosh but where's this table oh my god look at this oh my this is the table y'all it's so low they all go together but it doesn't fit like this this chair doesn't even fit with this table okay so maybe let's actually just get oh no get this small table anyways right and what is her um room it's like a blue do we have a blue there we go we're gonna get these chairs see maybe we'll do three chairs and move it a little bit and then we'll put these like little flower things on the chair i change the colors we will grab these and put them on the actual chair Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Let me put it on there. Yo, look at that. Oh my. Hey, no, 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 put it back, put it back. <laughs> and then this is the seat cushion. Oh man, that is so cute. So cute. Okay, okay, I'm done. I'm done. No more. David, we're going to send him home to his brother. His brother's like, bro, where are you? <laughs> I know you're with your girlfriend. I know you just proposed to her, but like, we need to finish up some stuff and also David has to work too um, so we can get that money for the wedding, you know? <laughs> um, so David's actually going to go home and then Naomi, we really want her to, I really want to go visit like Simone and Phoenix, our besties and tell them about the proposal but Naomi's mom has really been calling her so um and wanting to you know talk with her about like the wedding and getting things ready so we're actually going to visit our mama and we're gonna go back home so I'm gonna have oh travel here we go so yes I'm gonna have Naomi travel and we're gonna go visit our mother Alrighty, so Naomi is back home and she's like, oh my gosh, like I haven't been here in so long. She actually is just going to take this over to the hamper because she's like, really? Y'all leaving dirty clothes everywhere? I know exactly who this is. This is probably Marla. And she always just comes over and works out and changes her clothes. <laughs> so she's like, let me at least help y'all out real quick because that's just how pure of heart Naomi is. Um, so Malaya is outside. She's coming back in. So we're actually gonna talk with her about the wedding. We could talk about the wedding's cost. We could be like, wow, so how much is this gonna cost, mom? Like, I know I want everybody to be there at the wedding, but geez, like, this is crazy. And then we're actually going to debate about filming and the photography and be like, hey, you know, like, 
I really want to have like some good photos for the wedding. Can you like help me out with this? Like I'm already thinking of all of this, but I don't even know where to start or what to do. So she's kind of like asking her mom for some help. And then we're going to ask her for reception venue ideas as well. Oh my, and Archie is breaking stuff in the freaking kitchen, bruh. All right, we're gonna join her with cooking. He's like, where should I go? Like, I know you've been all over the place, you know, with like acting and things like that. Like, where's some good places that I should look at? There was another one I wanted to have her ask her about. Ask for wedding planners advice. Yeah, and ask her about that. Like, should we like get a wedding planner? Uh, I'm kind of thinking like, you know, we could probably do it ourselves. Like. I think it could be good. I might maybe get like some help with some things, but we could probably get do it ourselves. So like, I think that'll be fine, right? And then her mom's like, I'm all over it. Like I even got a cake, like I'm practicing making cakes because I really want to make your wedding cake. Naomi's like, oh my gosh, like really you want to make my wedding cake? That is so great. Like I would love for you to make my wedding cake. So our mom's going to make our cake. And she's already practicing, as we can see. I mean, we don't really need to announce the engagement because um, she was there. <laughs> but let's just have the interaction anyway. She's like, oh my gosh, like, I can't believe you knew about this. I can't believe you knew about this. She's like, I'm just still so excited. That's amazing. I'm glad for you. That's exciting. She's like, I'm just still so excited for you. Oh, let's see what this is. Naomi can't wait to tell everyone about her engagement. It's her favorite topic of conversation because she just can't keep it inside anymore. Now on to the wedding planning. Yeah, I can't wait to actually like talk to Simone and Phoenix and tell them about the wedding as well. So now it's five o'clock. Yeah, let's actually, let's actually go back home and actually see. I think everybody should kind of be off of work. You know, who like works on Thursday. Everybody should kind of be off of work. <sighs> We're actually just going to travel Simone and Phoenix and we'll probably just go back home but I want to make sure that I have them with me already so um we're over here at this restaurant I think Naomi's grabbing the table no she's not she's cross stitching Naomi girlfriend stop <laughs> it's okay you don't have the cross stitch she called over Simone and Phoenix to come have dinner so she can tell them about the engagement oh look at this guy he has a backpack on <laughs> That be your backpack. Thank you, thank you, ma'am. We're actually gonna grab the table and go with our besties. And I don't know why we're just changing outfits every second of the day. Um, uh, let's do this one. Oh lord, look at look at this girl snooping on everybody. Oh. Hello. Why is he hollering at Javi? Like, she's actually, like, part of our family. Like, this is our cousin, bro. Why are you hollering at my cousin? And Naomi's probably like, what? Um, why is this guy rude, bro? I'm about to give him a rude introduction. Like, bro, uh, hello? Um, who are you? And why are you screaming at my cousin? Like, are you serious right now? Able? <laughs> the mom's just over here doing work. Like, not the volunteer work. <laughs> she's like, are you serious right now? Who are you? He, he didn't even like the food. He's just like a he's just an angry sim. We're just gonna yell at him because you ain't gotta be rude, bro. You want you want to you want to yell at my cousin? I'ma yell at you. Oh, now she's sad. Something's not right. Naomi has a horrible feeling that the love of her life is on something. It's on something. What what is David doing? And what is he on? Hmm. Do we have some relationship fears? Like, what's... We just saw him this morning. Oh, they're already seated. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I just had to yell at, these, at this dude. So, yeah, she's gonna be like, Oh, I'm sorry for the delay, y'all. Like, somebody was talking to my cousin, and I just had to... I just had to yell at him. Look at this girl running. <laughs> All right, well, let's get to ordering while we got the waiter here. Actually going to get a water for Phoenix, a mimosa for Simone. And I think that Naomi wants to have the root beer. And let's see. <laughs> All right, the Caesar salad does look good. We'll give that... We'll give that to Phoenix. She's trying to watch her figure. We'll say that. <laughs> oh, gumbo. Oh, we'll have Naomi try the gumbo. I don't think she's had it before. And let's see. What for Simone? Simone. I think we'll give Simone the ham dinner. Yeah, I think we'll give Simone the ham dinner. Yeah, so now I really want to tell them about the wedding. Announce engagement. Where are you going, Naomi? Turn around. <laughs> or waiting for the food she's like okay so oh 
Okay, one more time. <laughs> she's like, okay, so Phoenix. She's like, we when we went on vacation. She's like, really on the vacation? She's like, yes, on the vacation. Like I didn't even know. And Simone's like, what are you guys talking about? What are you guys talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? We're like, okay, so Simone. Simone. So you know, I was talking about I was going on vacation. He proposed. It's like, oh my gosh, are you serious right now? Oh, let's see what they said. Phoenix said, congratulations, I always knew it would happen. Yo. Simone said, this really is the most exciting news. Yes, it's so exciting. And then um, Simone is just going to like give her a hug. And be like, oh my gosh, like I've known you guys for so long. I'm just like so happy and excited for you. I just can't wait to hear some all about the wedding. And then um, Simone's going to be like, have you looked into anything yet? Like, I'm just so excited. Naomi really wants to ask her to be her sum of honor. Like, she really wants her to... She's like, hey, like, will you do me the honor of being the sim of honor? If you don't What's sit this? down, Naomi, sit down. Ma'am, you can sit and talk at the same time. What are you writing down? She's like, I need to get my honest review. <laughs> this food is trash. <laughs> oh, wait, why is he so sad? He is cute. Wait, hold on. Why are all these sims sad? Hold on, wait. Oh, he's young though. Enzo Young? Oh, hello. Wait, um, can we say hello to him? I mean, not as Naomi. I'm just trying to find someone for Simone. Okay, come back. Give him a nice introduction. Be like, hey. He's just like, bro, is it even a good day, bro? Like, <laughs> who was that? Screaming and hollering. All right, and then we are going to ask Simone to be our Sim of Honor. She's like, I literally could not do this without you. Like, I need, what, what is this going to for? Like, I literally, like, need you to be my Sim of Honor. Uh, she's like, oh, I would love to. Oh, give her a hug. Literally, while Phoenix is over here, like, girl, <laughs> in the background, she's like, ooh, and Phoenix. All right, we'll give Phoenix a hug. See, we don't want to leave Phoenix out. Okay, we'll give her we'll give her a nice hug. Uh, She's gonna be like, congrats again. You know, Naomi's like, Phoenix, uh -huh. I really would love like your help, like, you know, uh, maybe planning the wedding and uh, of course coming with uh, me to find like my wedding dress and things like that. So like I really just appreciate you guys so much. But yeah, like Simone's like her really close friend that they've you known for like ever, but we really do love Phoenix as well. And she's always like been there for us too. Simone's like her bestie bestie, so she definitely wanna ask her to be a Simavada. Oh my god. Alright, Lo, well, let's end this and pay looks like they're closed up they're closing up all right let's get up out of here so i will see you guys when naomi gets back home it looks like naomi i think she's just gonna read oh yeah she's gonna read i think for tomorrow we might have the engagement dinner so i think we kind of want to make this engagement dinner for like all of our friends so we definitely want to invite over some of our neighbors and our apartment unit as well as Maritza, because we haven't seen her in a while. She's been, you know, living um, in a whole nother world. Like, she lives kind of far, but um, mm -hmm. Naomi did message her um, right before she went to dinner with Simone and Phoenix that, you know, asked her if she wants to come to the engagement dinner. So we'll probably do that tomorrow. She said she's already on her way. She definitely um, is super excited for Naomi and for the wedding. And um, yeah, I, she really wants to be able to come to the party. What is this? It looks like Naomi has food poisoning. Something must have not been right. Wait, something must have been wrong with that restaurant food. Naomi should get on the phone and let them know. Bruh, there is no freaking way. Is she gonna be okay? Oh my lanta, not the restaurant food. Yeah, we gonna report this food poisoning because there's no freaking way. She could have died, bro. Lanaga Klonka, Skuma, Fubane. Is that are you guys serious right now? All right, let's go to sleep. Oh, wait, they gave us some money. <laughs> We're taking Naomi's claim of food poisoning very seriously. Please accept 269 as compensation for our mistake. Try drinking lots of water. Again, we're so sorry. Please don't tell anyone. Oh, man. Like, how is y'all gonna poison me, bro? Like, that's just crazy, man. 
we could have died. And I think since it is Friday, we can see if we want to get another gig because we need to save as much money as possible. We literally have to pay for the wedding, have to pay for the honeymoon, and also have to pay for our dress fitting. We have to pay for the hair, makeup, nails. We have so many things to do. So yeah, we're actually gonna have Naomi come on this computer, girl, and we need to see for some more gigs, ma'am. Tenant grace period. The lease length cycle for Wimsco Apartments has reset and a temporary grace period is in effect until 9 a.m. the following day and lasts for 24 hours. During this time, tenants are able to move without any penalties. Okay, I don't think we're gonna move. I think we'll stay since we basically redecorated the whole entire apartment and just moved in last week. So I think that we will stay. But I wonder if anyone else is gonna move. Like, I don't want no one else to move. And oh my gosh, who is this with their shirt off? Hello? Oh, it's Scott, okay. Our young adult, Scott. <laughs> and who's running on the treadmill? Oh, oh, it's Max. And then we're gonna go down and see if we can um, chat with Max, just to talk to him more. And maybe um, invite him over to the unit, because I think that's what we have to do. Oh, Phoenix is calling. I think I have a crush on Emmett Lord. Do you think it's worth a try? I say go for it. You're only young once, Phoenix. Get your <laughs> mans. <laughs> <Whop it now! laughs> She's obsessed with this. Yeah, he is kind of fine. No wonder he's a five star celebrity. Hello? Schwabbing the curbs. Yeah, Bob. <laughs> 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 What was that? And why was Naomi kind of into it? Naomi, ma'am. We're gonna announce our engagement because he's low. <clears throat> Congratulations, I knew it would always happen. Probably because like he's always kind of seen David over here. I was like, it was meant to be. You guys are always together. But what was that little flirtation thing kind of going on? They ain't got no romantic buff happening, but I'm scared. We'll get to know him a little bit. All right, let, let's actually see what we got because we got some sentiments with this dude. Um, open profile. Okay, well, we know he's family oriented. We know he is married to Chloe and he's a global superstar. Oh, so they're already friends. A, fa a friend will always be there for a kind word. Okay, and she thinks he's basic looking. Naomi thinks that he is responsible. All right, and she also thinks growing closer from quality time. Naomi appreciates that Max makes time for her. Time spent together seems to bring them closer. Mm, okay. And he thinks that she's imaginative. Okay, nice. Well, we have good sentiments with him. I thought I saw something red. Naomi wants to get on his good side, but he's like one of those guys who's like always kind of flirty with everyone, you know? Like, oh, wait, homeboy's in, in a hazmat suit. <laughs> with the walk, can we take this walk off of him, please? All right, Naomi, Um, let's actually cook some food real quick. We'll actually have her plan the engagement dinner. Let's see. Oh, we can also set up our registry. I feel like we should probably do that too. Oh, he's just coming in and cleaning. Okay, nice. Well, thanks for wiping off our calendar. <laughs> but I totally forgot. We should definitely plan the registry just so we can like start it out. Choose what type of gifts, monetary gifts, physical gifts, both type of gifts. I feel like Naomi, I feel like she would want physical gifts, but she wouldn't mind not having monetary gifts. So maybe we'll just do both type of gifts. Okay. Naomi's registry has been set up. Time to register for gifts so that the guests know what you want. But in the end, it's always nice to get cash too. So uh, it is already three. Let's get this party started. Let's actually, oh, here we go. At a wedding event. I wonder, do we even have engagement dinner? There is an engagement dinner. Oh my gosh. Okay. A dinner with friends and family to celebrate the new engagement and the guests. Okay, so... Uh, we're gonna just have like our friends um, come over. So we're gonna have Simone, Maritza, she's still on her way. Uh, we're gonna have Phoenix. You know, should we have my sim self come over with her husband? Yeah, we'll have them join. Um, Joe, of course, Mona, Dylan, and I think that's it actually. Should we have Enzo come over? <laughs> No, 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 no. It'll just be uh, close friends and then we might see Enzo like later or whatever. But like Simone, like you got some choices, man. Okay, so we have Joe, we have 
Dylan. Oh yeah, Dylan lives with David, so of course he's gonna come over. Um, uh, Mona and wait, where is um where is his brother? Where's Joe's brother at? I, I don't know him. Why is he not in my list? I guess we'll knock on his door. Wait, actually, let me make it so he is coming. Naomi, go back upstairs, ma'am, please. Invite to hang out, Jonas. Yeah, I feel like she doesn't even know him. I swear I thought I talked to him. Wait, ma'am, you can't go up there? Hello? Go here. And then invite to hang out. Maybe he's at work or something. I don't know. We knocked on the door. And hello, don't go downstairs. No. I just want to talk to you. Friendly introduction so I can invite you to my party. Hello. It's like, hey, like, I always see you around. And I saw you at the other party. Like, I can't believe we haven't even, like, talked. And then we're just going to, like, talk to him and just ask him about um his career. And then just like get to know him. I feel like we already have good sentiments with him, which is great. He's unemployed, all right? We learned that. <laughs> and let's see, also, invite to wedding. Oh, we definitely have to invite all of them to the wedding. Well, only like our like close ones, our close friends, like our neighbors and also my sim self. Wait, look at Enzo. Maybe we should invite him, like bro. Naomi thinks the sim appears to Naomi as a much admirable individual, okay? And he thinks that we're imaginative, okay? You can come to our party, you could come. And Naomi thinks he's very attractive. Wow, that's kind of crazy. Because me and Naomi have very different tastes because I mean like, he is an attractive sim. Like, don't get me wrong, like he is an attractive sim, but like his brother, his brother looks just like him, but of course their hairs are different, but his brother is like, Cuter to me. Cuter to me. All right, Naomi, let's plan this um, engagement dinner. So, uh, oh man, we can select activities. Let's see, I guess we can have tea and then desserts. Dine together and enjoy festive food. Yeah, we're gonna make it like a tea event. We're not gonna get wasted, okay? <laughs> And plus, like, it's not going to be, well, it's kind of in the evening time, but it's still, like, late afternoon, like, early evening. So, we'll do tea, because I haven't seen the tea. Choose the time. It's four right now. We'll do it for five. And then we'll have it at my residence. All right. Engagement dinner. It's in here. And then, let's, oh, he's already coming early. Okay. What else did we need? Oh, the tea. The tea, tea, tea. Okay, okay. Man, I've never tried out the tea before. Like, I really want to see. Ooh, which one should we get? Man, there's so many cute ones. Okay, let's get this one. Because it, it's blue and it matches. <laughs> All right, so we got the tea. All right, so we're going to have Naomi change. All right, so we got the music already. And Homeboy came early. He's like, hey, well... I can help, you know, with the party. And then he's just going to go over here and just start dancing. <laughs> but let's actually have Naomi seep some tea. Let's do apple juice tea. Oh, I love apple juice. I'm excited. Are you ready to start? Let's start it. All right. So I guess we'll be in that outfit. So we're going to say hello to him after he comes out the bathroom. Oh, people are still coming. Oh, David's coming. Is that his brother? David looks hecka tired, bro. <laughs> He's like, bruh, so busy. <gasps> Did he just swipe our home counter? What? With my tea set? Oh my gosh. Did he just, he really just swiped my whole counter at my party when I just invited him here. Yell at this dude. <laughs> oh, David. Yeah. Somebody needs to beat him. Are you, David, are you serious right now? Uh, it's our engagement party. <laughs> you did not just swipe. Yeah, Naomi, yell at him. Are you serious right now? This dude literally just came in here and swiped my whole counter with my tea set that I just bought. How did he even swipe it and put it in his pocket? I don't even know. But are you serious right now? <laughs> okay, bro, you gotta go. We're kicking you out. You gotta go. You did not just come over here and steal, steal my stuff. Yeah, you gotta go, bro. Well, anyways, now you gotta buy all new tea sets. Now I gotta seep sips. 
can't even speak. Now I gotta seep some more tea. Now I gotta get a whole new table. You know what? I feel like, let's just get the tea set <clears throat> and then we'll worry about this later. <laughs> We'll talk up another sim. We'll be like, hey, you know, like my bestie Simone is like amazing. <laughs> Simone sounds like she's a pleasure to be around. Yeah, don't you dare come back over here, you sucker. Stole my stuff. Dang, okay, well, let's just freaking seep this tea again. Because I had my tea already. <laughs> all ready to go, bruh. I can't even have an, en <laughs> an engagement dinner. <laughs> And now they're dancing. See, at least my sim self is at least like having fun. All right, let's pour the tea now. Serve tea. Let's drink some tea. I don't know if we can like invite everybody to drink tea, but <laughs> yo, my man's got the sandals on. Yo, he got the Jesus slippers. We'll just have Joe just come over and just be like, oh, I'm so sorry, like Naomi. Like, I'm so sorry that my brother like did that. Like, he's a little crazy. Like, <laughs> he's a little insane, but I'm so sorry. Um, And hopefully you can like forgive him, but we'll definitely like return your stuff back to you. Yeah, but Naomi is just a little like, are you serious right now? Like, I don't. I don't know how I feel about this. Like, everybody already left anyways, so nobody even want to drink my dang yeah. tea, bruh. Like, ruined my whole engagement dinner. <laughs> Naomi's just a little, like, really antsy about that. And she's just like, no. Nah. But she's sipping her tea. She's like, that ain't gonna get me down. Like, forget that dude. But I probably won't invite him or his brother here again. You know what? I'm about to say, we're gonna go over to his house and swipe something. <laughs> Yo, like, I want to get in a fight with this dude, bro. <clears throat> oh, wait, they're out of their house right now? <gasps> okay, Naomi, as she's writing this, and she's just, like, feeling, like, super, um, like, emotional about the whole thing. Like, I can't believe he just did that. Like, I just can't even focus anymore. Um, we're actually just gonna, like, we're actually just gonna break in. Should we take our dad with us? <laughs> like, hey, dad, you want to break in real quick? <laughs> Want to break it? Yo, so we're just gonna, cause they're downstairs. So Naomi's like, okay, so if y'all want to steal something of mine, then I'm gonna steal something of y'all of yours. And then she's gonna be like, oh my gosh, Niata, hello, how are you? Uh, go away. <laughs> and she's like, Naomi, hey, nice to see you. you. Going home? She's like, yeah, yeah, just going home real quick, you know. But Naomi's like, you know what? Like, <laughs> right in front of her dad. <laughs> Her dad's like, Naomi, what are you doing? He's like, wait, Naomi, what are you doing? Like, she's like, Dad, oh, they invited me over there. Um, I totally like lost like my, um, I left like my, my key or whatever um, in their place. So they said I could come through um, and, and just get it. <laughs> she's like, okay, yeah. She's like, I'll be just a moment. I'll be just a moment. <laughs> oh, man. So we're actually just going to look through their stuff. And you know what? We're going to swipe their toll TV. We can't swipe the TV. She is not doing cross stitch while she just broke into their place. All right, let's see if we can snoop. Can I snoop that? Oh, what did you what did you find, Naomi? Oh, so she found some stuff. Okay. Dang, bro, we can't really swipe a lot. We can't even swipe the TV, bruh. This is so not Naomi. Like, she's turned to the dark side. Oh, wait, Naomi has discovered. My heart was beating so fast. I thought that this said that he was coming, that he saw us. Oh my gosh, bro. Okay, let's see. Naomi has discovered that Jonas has this secret kettle full of lies. What? Growing up, my friend Anne had an electric kettle. It was very cute, and she even painted a little panther on the side of it. One day, I was struck with the inspiration to add something to the painted panther. So I grabbed the nearby pen and added an extra tooth sticking out of its mouth between the usual two fangs. But the thing is, I didn't know how to draw a panther fang, so it looked more like a human tooth. I was so embarrassed. Pretended not to notice it when my mom brewed us some tea. The next time I was at her house, I felt the familiar stri strike of inspiration and added another, once again, way too human-like, tooth sticking out of his mouth this happened again and again to the day and finally noticed when the panther looked like it was smiling with a mouthful of human teeth she screamed in horror wondering if a ghost had done it i couldn't bear to tell her the truth we didn't speak anymore but to this day i shudder to think how she react if she knew it was me wow kind of crazy and then i totally forgot to read these sentiments um but kicked out of the wedding party naomi kicked jonas out of the wedding event what nerve 
He should have got kicked. He literally swiped my stuff. Um, and Jonas has a deep-seated grudge against Naomi. It's hard to forget or forgive the past, which may which make being around Naomi feel unpleasant. Well, he should feel unpleasant, little sucker. All right, let's see. Can we swipe that? We have to swipe something, bro. Like, we can't leave without... Nice. Nice. Okay. Okay, Naomi. Yeah, let's go. Let's go back home. But it was so funny when Shingiri was there, like, wait, Naomi, what are you doing? Like, why do you have a crowbar trying to get to the place? Like... Like, wait, what's happening? She's like, oh, well, it's fine. It's fine. Like, th this is how they open up their door. Like, <laughs> I'm just getting some this so that I can come and get something. So <laughs> now she's starting to, like, feel really bad about what happened. She's like, bro, I just need to wash away all of my sins. Like, <laughs> I need to wash away all of my sins. So she's going to come over and take a shower. And then well, I'll have her use the bathroom as well. And then we're going to go to sleep. Now they're, I don't know if they'll ever, like, make up or anything. Or, you know, what's going to happen with that. But yeah. Naomi, like, she feels bad about what she did, but she's like, now we're even, like, so she's trying to justify it with that, you know? <gasps> Y'all, wait. Didn't I have something right here? Okay, I'm about to say, they swiped my thing, too. I'm about to say, oh, my. But we're actually gonna just say that um, Joe had came by to bring our freaking counter back, so we'll put her counter on here. And then we will also give her her chair. We can have that. We will have Naomi change her outfit. And uh, I kind of like her with the jacket fit because it is raining right now. Alrighty, so that's actually going to conclude episode four because that's literally so insane to me that my whole engagement dinner was ruined by Joe's freaking brother Jonas swiped my whole counter and tea set and just like, ruined the whole thing <laughs> so i'm actually gonna end this episode right here thank you guys so much for watching so many crazy things happen in this freaking game so uh, i'm just really excited for episode five to see what happens next with naomi and we're getting into more of the wedding planning so um yeah it's just crazy but i'm so glad that we got to talk to simone and phoenix i don't even think we talked to Monita when she came here it just the party the vibes were just off naomi got her revenge but now we're like she was regretting it a little bit, but now she's kind of like, you know, like, he owes me that, like, I got my revenge, it's all kind of settled, so she's now kind of, like, in this, like, little, like, dark space of, like, I just, like, had to do it, had to get him back, but we'll see how that turns out in the next episode and how their relationship is in the next episode, too. But thank you guys so much for watching episode four. Hope you guys enjoyed this part. It was so much fun to play today and I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Definitely don't forget to subscribe down below, comment your favorite part and give this video a like and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.